Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Stage Zero Life Sciences, a channel on a mission to help reduce the incidence of late stage cancer through early intervention. Joining us to discuss, we have James, the Chief Executive Officer. Welcome back, sir. Hello, Kyle. Always a pleasure to get you on. So I want to get right into this. Some exciting things are happening with Stage Zero. Do you want to just provide some updates on what investors should be focusing on here? Yeah, we've got a lot going on and actually very exciting at this point. Um, you know, we've been talking about clinical trials for a while. We have the metrics too coming together, which um, not only expands the data set that we have, but will lead to a um, glioblastoma um, diagnostic um, within Aristotle. But in addition to that, the two key um, partnerships that we've been putting together are now in the operational stage. And so we'll make announcements on those in the next short while, but they take us in a um, completely different direction in terms of expansion. Reach is just massively increased. Now, who provides the clinical support that Stage Zero offers? The, we use multifunctional teams. So in all of our clinics, you will have a mix of um, metabolic oncologists, but you'll have metabolic physicians that are not oncologists. In addition to that, we've got a significant number of nurse practitioners on board. We, um, we use all of this together. They, the different parts of the team intervene at different, different time periods so that we can give comprehensive support all the way around. And then we're actually building out with our pharmacy partner to make sure we use their PharmDs for all of the specific information. And we'll shortly be adding a mental health component as well. Now, when it comes to prevention and just kind of getting to cancer early, I mean, what is the value of this early detection to insurers? It's huge. Insurers are all about reducing risk, risk to themselves, risk to the groups that they 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 insure. And so we're looking, we, we're in discussion with a series of insurers, both insurers as well as reinsurers, in terms of utilizing both Aristotle and Avert. And bear in mind, it's unique. We're the only ones that offer that. But it is, as I say, all about reducing risk, which increase, sorry, increases revenue, um, reduces premiums, the likes of all of that. And then finally here, how do lab partners kind of contribute to the SZLS growth and the expansion? Lab partners are critical. Just, just imagine that we partner with a large lab group. We're immediately going to get access, and let's, let's presume it's in the U.S., we're going to get at immediate access to all of their customers. So the employers that they service, the customer base that they service, the drug stores, the innovative partnerships. And so in, in their words, I guess they would say they open the doors, we walk through with them. So we dramatically expand the offering that they can provide. But for us, it dramatically increases our reach. Well, on that note, I'll pass the question off to the viewers. As always, we'd love to know what you think in that comment section below. And consider subscribing for news and updates as it hits the wire. But on that, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.